Hello all my T-Rex friends. I hope everyone's ready for spring. I know I sure am. This cold weather really hurts my bones. Hey, I have a special story to share with you about Terry that revolves around one of my favorite pre-spring holidays. I hope you enjoy it and also learn a little something from it. Let's see what's going on. St. Patrick's Day is coming up, and it's one of Terry's favorite holidays. He has an advantage over most others because his skin naturally has green in it. He doesn't have to worry about being pinched by the other students. Even though the teacher emphasizes that they are all to keep their hands to themselves, it still does happen. This year, he is extra excited because he recently watched a movie about a leprechaun, and it gave him an idea. Leprechauns are very possessive of their pot of gold, and are constantly searching for more. Terry devised a plan to start his own pot of gold with something a little bit different. It took him a while to work out the details, but now that the day was here, he put his plan to work. Terry showed up early to school and hid in the coat closet, where everyone puts their coats and lunches when they got to school. As they came in and situated their belongings, he would watch where they were putting their lunches. After everyone went to their desks, he raided everyone's lunch boxes and took the treats that they had inside. He knew what he was doing wasn't right, but for some reason, he just couldn't stop. The plan that kept building and playing in his mind wouldn't be satisfied until he had his pot of gold. He hid his treasure in a large bag in the corner and couldn't wait for lunchtime. He sat at his desk all morning, partially excited about tearing into the, all the cupcakes and candy bars that he pilfered, and partially nervous that he would get caught and be in trouble. But he sat quietly until that lunch bell rang. When Terry and his classmates sat down at lunch, he put his bag of gold on the floor below him. He ate his normal lunch and watched all of his friends do the same. One by one, they all began to realize their treats were gone. Slowly, his joy turned to guilt as he saw his friends get upset that they didn't have their treats to enjoy. His teacher noticed something odd about Terry and walked over to him. And she saw the bag on the floor and noticed it was filled with way more snacks than any parent would give a child. Terry sat with his head in his hands. He was embarrassed and guilty for taking what wasn't his. He was beginning to understand why leprechauns always seemed so mean. They can't bear the guilt that comes with their greed. Just as the teacher was about to say something, Terry jumped from his seat and shouted, Hey everyone! It was me! I took your treats and I was gonna treat them like my pot of gold. But I see how sad I made you and I don't want that. I only meant for it to be a joke. He picked up his bag of gold and went around to each student and let them get their items back. When he returned to his seat, everyone had smiles on their faces except for one person. Yeah, his teacher. She walked Terry to the principal's office and called his parents. When they arrived, everything was explained. His parents knew that what he did was wrong. And they also explained that Terry's T-Rex oftentimes got in the way of him making proper decisions until it was too late. They all commended Terry for stepping up and admitting what he did and return all the treats to the rightful owners. They also agreed to work together... Terry included, to build his recognition of when he felt he had to do something he knew was wrong. With him talking to his parents and teacher, they could all help him apply the mental breaks needed in order to behave properly. The last thing anybody wants is for him to do something that would get him hurt. Terry's dad pulled him aside and told Terry that he understands what he's going through and that he was proud of Terry for not trying to lie or hide it. He told him that many times people will try to make excuses for doing something that they shouldn't or blame it on a number of different things, including their disorder. But deep down, each person knows the truth and the guilt they have is worse than any punishment that parents can dish out. So he was very proud of his son for being honest. He gave Terry a hug and told him they'll keep working on his mental breaks so he doesn't have that embarrassment again. When Terry got back to his classroom, all the other kids were lined up at the door. As he passed each one, they all gave him a light pinch and said, Happy St. Patrick's Day. He sat back at his desk with a smile on his face, happy that he did the right thing in the end. He could take his light pinching from his friends. He felt he deserved that. In the end, his friends forgave him immediately and knew he meant no harm. They were pretty used to him acting weird sometimes. Okay, T-Rexers, it's time for me to speak with your parents privately for a minute. I'll be back soon with another full series of T-Rex Syndrome. I even have a very special T-Rexter that will be coming soon, but I can't give any hints on this one. I guarantee, though, that you're going to love it. 
Okay, have your parents trade places with you and you guys go have some fun. Give me that fist bump. Bang! And this is Megalodon saying bye for now. Many times parents have asked the question, how do I know if my child's behavior is natural mischief from someone their age or if it's related to their T-Rex? And it's a good question that is pretty difficult to answer. One thing to keep in mind is that children with a neurological disorder, there's often a disconnect between knowing what they are doing is wrong and having the ability to stop it. And some things may even be planned out in advance while others are just impulsive. Identifying this at an early age is vital in order to help tool those internal brakes that help regain control when things are going too fast. It doesn't happen overnight and can take a lot of repetition. Working with a CBIT therapist or other behavioral therapists can help get a handle on the thought processes of a child and avoid actions that can lead to trouble or extreme danger, which is the last thing any of us want. So keep on working with your child and make sure that they're getting the proper treatment and move forward with patience and love. See you guys next time. Bye.